All right, so time to pour the other side. Okay, I have flipped the toilet seat over. I have actually taken the cookie sheets out that I usually have in the bottom of my pour pan here and um, replaced them with these cups turned upside down, four of them, because this is not exactly level and it doesn't quite fit all the way down when you turn it this way. But it does fit if you raise it up a bit because the sides of this uh, container have a little bit of um, an angle to them. So I am going to use this same cup that I've used before because I tried to pull, pull the skin out of it and it is still not thick enough. Um, as you can see, this is where I tried to pull the skin out of it on this side. And it looks like it's going to be really, really pretty, so I want to keep building this up. Um, I'm going to start trying to decide. I'm going to do this like a flip cup, just like I did the other side. I'm going to try and make this a little darker. So the first thing I did, after cleaning everything again, because I'm a little obsessive, because like I said, this was a toilet seat cover. Um, I took a... Um, piece of sandpaper and just kind of roughed everything up. You should be able to kind of see the different lines in there. I just wanted to give it a little bit of tooth so that um, the paint would have something more to cling to. Um, since this is the side that's really going to get the most abuse. I do still want to put a little bit of white in it. Which I know sounds strange, but I like that. I like starting with a little bit of white. And then I'm not going to do black yet because I don't really want a whole lot of grays. So what would I be with black that would be cool color wise? Let's put the green in there. Hmm. I am still recovering from the carpal tunnel surgery, surgeries, um, and so I took a few days off and edited some videos for everyone that was easier for me to do than doing a lot of different kinds of art. I needed a break. My hands did need a break. Um, so I ended up editing videos instead, uh, which is a, more like a one finger activity. So. Uh, that made it a little bit easier and you guys got to see some of the videos that I've been making so um, we'll call that a win-win but I really wanted to finish this one and um, my left hand is still not doing so great my right one is definitely improving so that's a good thing but all right here we go didn't think I was gonna be able to get this open for a minute so you'll see I still if I get my hand in there enough I still have um, a bandage on my left wrist that I keep having to change. All right, then I want to do the green shifty paint. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to do any silicone in this one. I think I'm going to avoid the silicone in this one. Um, let's go blue. Yeah, I know. I'm a blue person. I've already said it like a billion times. Um, mm, now I want a big pop of color, but I want to put some of this darker purple in as well. I'm trying to kind of get similar colors to what I used on the other side, but not too much. I'm going to put some of this green in there. I love this green. This is such a great green and it, it pops so well. And uh, I've been really good about not tightening my lids too much. So I've been able to get them open and I'm glad this bottle is not too full because I would not be able to hold it. All right. Pink, a pink pop. That should be more than enough. All right, 
Now I will let this sit for a minute. I'm not gonna put any um, silicone in it. I wanna see how this comes out without any kind of silicone. All the paints are mixed the way that I have posted in the description, which is uh, two-thirds Floetrol, one-third paint, and then enough water to make a honey-like consistency of the paint. And that's going to change depending on what kind of paint you're using and how thick it is and how old it is as well. So. Are you ready to flip this? Once again, I do not have the capacity to lift this up and hold it with this hand and do the whole nice neat flip and because this is a curved surface you're going to expect it's going to run off um the sides i like working on curved surfaces because i think it gives you an additional element of surprise rather than just working on a flat surface does and um yeah you got to be careful about it but here we go flippity flippity Like I said, I knew it would run some because this is not a level surface. But usually once the suction gets going, and look, there's already cells forming outside here. So cool. So I'm just gonna let it uh, flow. This time I usually let five minutes. I like to give the paint plenty of time to sink down and uh, make all kinds of cool things happen. <laughs> so back in five all right here we go it's been five minutes and I can't do this much longer with this one hand. Sorry, got to tilt away from you for a second here. Tilt back this way. I still think I have quite enough paint down this end. I'm just going right up to the edge, hoping to give it something to uh, break the kind of surface tension there and let it run a little more. sure when I let this back down it's gonna run uh, in the other direction so ow, 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 ow. use it, it's just the way um trying to use them that's really hurting I need to turn around a little bit and not try and do it that way <laughs> I think that's pretty good now if I can move this back to the center. I mean, I have not even put any fire to this yet. There we go. Actually, I think that'll be okay. There we go. Okay. Uh, no fire. And look at all these cells. I mean... We've got some really pretty blues and purples in here. Um, 
you can see some of that pink popping out over here uh, once again the blues I love this over here it kind of looks um, geodish that little edge there um, and I love this white stripe that kind of goes through it and that was just that little bit of white I put in at the beginning uh, I'm gonna leave this sit for a minute I'm gonna go wash my hands and I'll be right back oh wow Things have moved a little bit. I'm seeing some good drippies on the side down here where I had just kind of like filled in with my finger. Of course, I'm going to keep doing that, right? Right after I wash my hands, because that's the way I do that thing. Now I'm just going to wipe my finger off so it's not going to be completely clean here. Okay. Like I said, there's no silicone in this. I told you how I um, mix the paints. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going to put some fire to it, but I have not done any of that yet. All I did was flip the cup and stretch the paint out so that it would fit on the seat. And I almost didn't think I was going to have enough, but it seems like I have enough. Um, thank goodness. So I am going to add some fire in a few places, see if I can pop some bubbles. Remember, this is a plastic toilet seat, so I have to be careful. Don't spend too much time in any one location. You don't want to melt the toilet seat. So here we go. I think I want to see if I can get any more little. Yeah, because I like the way that looks. It almost looks geodish. I'm going to do that over here, too. Because it seems like it is bringing out some of the, the the pink that I put in there, that tiny little bit of pink I put in at the end. Oh yeah, and along that white, that's gonna look cool. Ooh, I like that. That brought some dimension to some of the, shells, the, the cells. Um, it's where you get those concentric circles of different colors. Beautiful. Mm. And it did, I wanted it dark, so it did go dark, um, which I'm really actually kind of happy about because then I'm going to put bright numbers on here for the house numbers. Um, and I won't be showing you the numbers. Maybe I'll show you a number or how I make a number or however I decide to do that. This looks like it's got a bubble or something here, so I'm going to, it's actually not a bubble. It's a chunk. Sometimes that happens. It was a tiny little chunk. I'm gonna just give that a fire so it mixes in a little. Ooh, and it brought some of the green out, which I like. Because we really didn't see too much of the lime green. Tiny little pieces of it, right? All right, well, I'm gonna let this go. I'm gonna let it move. Uh, I am going to turn on just a regular old oscillating fan on low facing in this direction in the hopes of getting a bit of a skin on top of this um, so that it won't move too much more since this is a curved surface. So let me turn the fan. And like I said, I just turn it on low because I don't want it to move the paint. Um, woo! Piece of dust off the fan. <laughs> I just cleaned this yesterday, I swear. Okay, so I'm gonna have to clean the fan again. It's just, I do too much in this room. <laughs> and some of it is very dust making, so. Um, but yeah, look at some of these. These cells are beautiful. I think this turned out really great. There is no silicone in this. And now my next adventure is to figure out how to do the numbers that go on top. And they obviously have to be light because I made this dark purposely, just so that they could be lightly colored. I'd be interested to see how far this separates because, like I said, curved surface, oddly curved as well. So here we go. So here is top of the toilet seat having just finished it I wanted to give you a close-up look at some of the cells 
try not to block my own lighting here. <laughs> and try not to do too much with the glare, but that seems like that's not gonna happen. So. Ooh, look at those. They're really pretty. And I have a cat who is uh, rustling papers here. Ooh, I like that. Those are just gorgeous because I love the, the cells with the concentric circles of different colors. 